Hello everyone, this is Ambush Dixit. My registration number is 17 from Computer Science Department. And today I am going to do experiment number 2 <coughs> for compiler. So the experiment is to write a program to scan the input and generate a symbol table. Okay, so in, com in a compiler, as you might know, that the first step is the lexical analyzer. Now, the lexical analyzer's job is to divide the code into lexemes, and now whatever lexemes it has been divided into will be put into the symbol table, as you can see over here, with ID, with data type, return types, values, parameters, and so on and so forth, <coughs> which describes the symbol table. So <coughs> Uh, what we are going to do over here is we are going to make a program which is going to imitate the compiler's working, internal working, which, uh, which sends all the lexemes into the symbol table. So let's get started. So this is our program over here. So as you can see, first of all, we have de uh, described uh, initialized few string variables as well as um, arrays string arrays to null now data and value are the two string arrays which has been used frequently s and f are two now first of all we have created a file known as fourth.txt in which we are gonna keep the code which which is which has to be divided into lexemes and put into symbol table so now this file reader buffer reader uh, uh, technique is used to take input from the file which has been created so this code generates this file and file reader will generate a stream from the object f and will store it into bf and whatever the value will be uh, uh, there in the file will be accessed now now first of all it will print the data type variable or current value for creating a look of the table so backspace t is um, the specifier which has been used to give a space a tab space now <clears throat> now comes the logic part so while loop has been used over here while bf dot read line is not equals to null so till my code whatever i have written in the text is doesn't become null this will work this while loop will work this while loop won't terminate now i will use string tokenizer so this is the one you can see here this java.util.string tokenizer so this tokenizer what it does is it divides the string into tokens as you can get from the name now if s dot contains int now this contains method checks whether the string contains int if it is true then it will go into this if statement as you can see this if block lies from here to here else these things will be printed and if it contains in so first of all it will spit from the spaces after that it will after that it will print whatever is there in fr in the zeroth position and fr1 dot replace also whatever commas and spaces will be replaced with fr1 so this is the logic going on over here and similarly in this for loop you can see this will run from 0 to var dot length so var is the uh, value which we have found from fr1 dot split so this will split it and put the value in var now var, uh, var i dot split now wherever equals to will be there it will be stored into var i and the nested for loop will print whatever semicolons and spaces and tab back um, we, uh, we need as it will be replaced in this array else it will just print tab and move on else if the uh, the the code consists of float so when it consists of float then if float is true then again the same thing will be done and it the whole logic will be the same and it will just replace and it will find this uh, and it will f uh, put it into the symbol table. So what we are do uh, doing over here is we are running this loop till all the lines are read and 
we will check if it is int or if it is float and uh, according to the according to the uh, value in the code it will split and it will replace all and it will start putting it into the symbol table so it, if uh, all of that is put into this try catch blocks if there is any exception it will send me the message so let me show you um, the file the text file in which this code is there so I'll just move this a little bit so this is the folder in which we have created the um, symbol table so this is 4.txt which I was talking about so it consists of hash include iostream.h void main int abc c is equals to 10 so a and b are not initialized over here so this by default becomes 0 also c is uh, initialized as 10 and c out a c out b and all these this is the code so float and you can see int all these values will be put into the symbol table so let us go and check all these things out in our um, code over here so let us run this code so as you can see this is our output so data type variable and current value so as you can see this is the data type int a initialize 0 so no current value b 0 no current value c is 10 which you saw here in the fourth dot txt so value of c is 10 so that will be the value now float now float floats flt is the variable which has been defined as float which has the value 10.20 has been defined and float one which has the value again 10.20 is defined so these are all defined and arranged into the symbol table as you can see so again let me uh, review the thing so the task given to us was we have to we had to make a symbol table and uh, we have to imitate the compiler over here using this java code so uh, what we did was we gave an we gave a sample input and we got a sample output we got a output for that given input so as you can see we identified the data types and the variables and their current values so thank you very much for watching